Hey, welcome to Integrative Preparedness. I'm Steve Smith. <clears throat> Just in case I put this over on uh, American Reversion 2, welcome to all of you on American Reversion. Although I might, I might shoot a separate one for American Reversion because we we come at things a, a, a slightly differently over there with more uh, more political emphasis than we do on Integrative Preparedness. So welcome to you all. Happy Mother's Day, by the way. Uh, we're we're headed down to, um, well, I won't tell you on this one, I'll tell you later. We're here, headed down to a special place on Mother's Day. Uh, for those of you on American Reversion, Mrs. Snurdly is sitting in the co-pilot seat. She'll be reading something here in a little bit. And for those of you on Integrated Preparedness, you have no idea what I'm talking about, do you? Well, some of you do. Okay, something came out. Uh, I've said before that the violence is coming. Other people have said that too. It's no secret. Uh, and it is something to be concerned about. It, uh, ever since this first <clears throat> report has come out of the Supreme Court by Alito, uh, indicating that Roe may be overturned, we have seen the best and the brightest of the left come forth and show us what they're all about. We already knew it. But... Uh, but they're showing everybody else as well who had any doubt. Uh, driving down here, I just read a couple of things on the uh, some of the news aggregators that I check regularly. Uh, looks like Alito is hiding out. They've had to move him to a location, uh, a secret location. And it looks like uh, they have had some protests in front of some of the other justices' homes, and uh, of course the left is up in arms and and responding violently to their thought that and in in uh, and probably in protection of the the violent insurrections that are coming from the right, right, <laughs> right. Uh, and of course we have the usual tepid response from the the idiot in chief and his his little. Uh, red-headed minion uh, saying, well, you know, we uh, we agree with free speech and all that and nothing we can do about people, the American citizens going and terrorizing the Supreme Court justices. Of course, if it was the other way around, we know that it would be termed an insurrection. But uh, no, in this case, it's simply democracy at work. Well, the thing that, that, uh, that really made me shoot this today is that uh, just read an article, and I'm going to have Kelly uh, read a little bit of it here in a second, uh, that a pro-life uh, organization, and was it Madison, Hunt? Was it Mad Madison, Wisconsin? She's looking it up. She's going to read something in yes, a minute. Madison. Okay, Madison, Wisconsin was firebombed by our, our, our peaceful left. Are mostly it was a mostly peaceful firebombing, um, an expression you know a democratic expression of free speech, uh, you know uh, carried out with uh, with gasoline and fire, and uh, they firebombed a pro-life place. This is just the first uh, the first salvo, and more is coming. But I'm going to ask Kelly to read a little bit uh, of of this article because what the chief of police says shows you exactly what the problem is and then I'm after she's done reading uh, I'll say a couple of things before I sign off and continue our Mother's Day by the way if I didn't say it I hope all you moms are having a great Mother's Day uh, you want me to take this mic off and hand it to you or you want to lean in okay she's that's all right I think I can get it she she speaks even more softly than I do so I'm gonna pass this to her But she doesn't want to be on camera, so I'm holding it on me. The offices of Wisconsin Family Action, a pro-life ministry, were firebombed early Sunday morning in Madison, Wisconsin. There were no injuries. If abortions aren't safe, then neither, then you aren't either, was spray-painted on the outside of the building. I warned folks on my national radio program that the White House's refusal to condemn these out-of-control protests would eventually lead to this sort of violence. Um, this was Todd Starnes' article. 
In recent days, a Catholic church in Colorado was heavily damaged by pro-abortion vandals, and over the weekend, protesters blocked the entrances of church houses and protested outside the homes of conservative Supreme Court justices. The Madison Police Department understands members of our community are feeling deep emotions due to the recent involving the United States Supreme Court, Madison Police Chief Sean Barnes said in a statement. Okay, I have it right there. That's it. So, so this moron police chief, uh, he understands, right, as does the Madison Police Department, they understand that... Uh, that Madison residents were, how they say, experiencing emotions or something to that effect? Yes. Yeah. Deep, deep emotions. Deep, deep emotions, deeply held emotions uh, because of what? How did he term that? Due to the recent news Due involving the United States Supreme Court. The recent news involving the United States Supreme Court. What a mamby pamby pussyfied way to put it. Okay. Did he go on and say anything else of interest, my dear? He sure did. Oh, what could it be? Early Sunday morning, our team began investigating a suspicious fire inside an office building on the city's north side. It appears a, a specific nonprofit that supports anti abortion measures was targeted. Um. And he goes on to say, Our department has and continues to support people being able to speak freely and openly about their beliefs, the chief continued. But we feel that any acts of violence, including the destruction of property, do not aid in any cause. We have made our federal partners aware of this incident and are working with them and the Madison Fire Department as we investigate this arson. <laughs> what a putz. What a putz. Uh, we feel... Say that to me one more time. We feel that uh, some some ridiculous... Uh, yeah. I'll read the whole thing. Our department has and continues to support people being able to, freak, to speak freely and openly about their beliefs. But we feel that any acts of violence, including the destruction of property do not aid in any cause. We have made our federal partners aware of this incident and are working with them in the Madison Fire Department as we investigate this arson. You know, that, that's right. I remember when I used to slam bad guys into the asphalt and I said, I, f I feel that, that any acts of violence do not, uh, do not what, assist in, 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 I don't know what assist. What a mamby-pamby idiotic thing to say. How about... Oh, do, they do not aid in any cause. Hey, bad guy, I do not feel that your acts of violence aid in any cause. You know what? That's not how you stop this stuff. Uh, this is this is the reason. How about we don't feel, but we know that acts of violence are illegal. We're going to catch your butt and put your butt in, a, in, a, in, a, in jail. No, no, we're not going to do that because we feel we're all about the feelings, you know. And... Uh, can you clip that back on me? Because I think I'm yelling at these people. <laughs> we we feel, and so this is. Uh, I got a couple of different messages here. I think I think that I'll just put this same one on both channels. Uh, for everybody on integrative preparedness, uh, we know this is just the first. This is the flash. This is the. This is the match that has lit the fuse. There's going to be a lot more coming, and later on, Kelly uh, read me something later uh, that that um, said that they they are very very worried about violent uh, protests or attacks or something like that from the right. That's a bunch of BS. We know this stuff does not come from the right, but if you don't see a false flag coming and waving in the breeze, uh, you see it differently than I do. So. Uh, so be very careful. My message is be very careful. Watch what's going on. We are entering another summer of love. You know, if you uh, if you feel that burning and violence is love. And for everybody over, so be careful. Make sure that you are always in a, always in a condition in which you can protect yourselves from these morons. Uh, for our people over on... 
uh, American reversion. And the reason that I say that is because we deal with things a little more on the political side. I would say this is going to be a tremendous opportunity to, um, to stand up and talk about what we believe in, not to be shy. Do not. There, there will be a lot of people that are going to say, oh no, oh my, I don't want to express my opinion now in front of people, in front of my friends, or I don't want to express my opinion in front of in anybody in front of work. And well, you know, I tell you what, it's up to you, but that's how we got in this pickle right now. It used to be that Americans would stand up and say what they thought was right and wrong. They won't do it anymore, and that's why this country is going down into the toilet. So if uh, if any of you out there are as socially abrasive as uh, Mrs. Smith and I are often, uh, now would be a great time to look for opportunities, to state your case, don't give any ground, uh, state your case that uh, pro-choice is pro-abortion, that we are pro-life, this is what we want for our country and we're not and now that it looks like things are headed back in the right direction if we could solve it politically we would sure love to because the alternative is nothing that anybody wants so stand up and for everybody both on, in, on uh, uh, integrative preparedness and American reversion uh, keep your eyes open and uh, you know what close to hand have a uh, have a great mother's day for all of you keep your eyes out for those two escaped rap scallions out of alabama because you get yourself a quick 25 grand if you come across those two all right you all have a good day remember a couple of things Remember that we prepare well today in order to live well tomorrow, and remember that America needs a reversion or something, and it needs you to be a part of it. Y'all have a good day. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.